My Photo Story by Rebecca Smith on thematic units. What are thematic units? They're the type of instruction that organizes curriculum around macro themes. It integrates basic disciplines like social studies, reading, math, and science with the exploration of a broad subject, such as space, rainforests, community helpers, and so on. For example, in the study of a river basin, for instance, math might involve calculating water flow and volume. Social studies could look at the nature of river communities. Science might study phenomena like weather and floods, and literature could study books and novels that focus on rivers, such as the works of Mark Twain. A thematic unit must address national and state standards and offer a variety of activities that help teachers differentiate learning to benefit each child. In one study, the authors developed a character development unit through the use of Janelle Cannon's books, which taught about friendship, respect, perseverance, honesty, and cooperation. Through the books, characters, adventures, and personal difficulties, they helped a class of second grade students explore conflict resolution, intergenerational communication, social conformity, and the negative effects of prejudice. Like in this study, in thematic units, they explore the topic through the use of reading activities such as reader's theater, shared reading, and read-alouds, also through reading responses. For example, writing stories, role-playing, drawing, and acrostic poems. Further, peer learning issues through small groups and whole class discussions. In another study, the authors discussed the advantages and disadvantages of allowing students with exceptionalities engage in the traditional model of a general PE program based on thematic units, where all special students work on the same goals using basically the same equipment and activities. They found instruction based on thematic units allowed students to develop physical fitness goals and skills needed to participate in the leisure activities being taught, but it did not specifically address each student's individual needs. Despite the similarities between each student, each had different motor, fitness, and behavioral needs and physical education interests that must be accounted for when creating an alternative physical education program. Further, D. Soros conducted a study to find a way to give each student in his diverse math class of 650 students the opportunity to grow in the area of math by structuring his classroom in a way that let his students choose their own zone of proximal development, where they are challenged and not overwhelmed, but instead motivated. This approach required him to differentiate instruction and tier his assessment. He found that the most helpful approach to tier assessments was to organize units of math into thematic units with specific skill outcomes designated for each theme. This enabled him to keep the number of assessments to a manageable level by assessing at the end of each thematic unit rather than assessing each skill separately. Here are some examples of thematic unit strengths. Students can visualize connections between the disciplines. They learn how to conduct research with other peers. Also, they learn how to make predictions and evaluate information. It increases their effective use of computers and technology. They practice writing. It increases student interest in learning and time engaged. It uses talk to clarify meanings and give presentations. And students are able to create hands-on projects. Further, it models for students the resources used in research. Learning can be scaffolded as students work independently in small groups and as a whole class. Utilizes collaborative and cooperative learning strategies. Learning can be differentiated by modalities. It expands assessment strategies and it integrates word processing skills into creative activities. Here are some examples of thematic units weaknesses. It can be more time consuming than textbook driven social studies and science units. Also, teachers must design these units, which takes up a lot of time. And finding needed resources to implement lessons can be difficult with limited funding. 
A number of instructional strategies can be used in a thematic unit. First, independent reading and writing through the use of learning logs and rereading familiar books. Whole class reading and discussion through the teacher reading aloud to the whole class, as well as asking open-ended questions to help students think about a topic in different ways. Scaffolding where students read books at their own reading level during Greek guided reading activities. Cooperative learning, through the use of small group projects and getting the students to reread familiar books with buddies. Lastly, visual representations, through the use of diagrams, charts, and drawings to record information they are learning and to help them organize it. And this strategy works very well with ELL students. There are a number of benefits for struggling readers through the implementation of a thematic unit. First, collaboration with more knowledgeable peers through the use of buddy reading, group projects, and read alouds. Next, content is repeated through a variety of contexts. And there's quicker feedback from the teacher through the use of learning logs, guided reading, and group discussion. Further, students receive more one-on-one -on -one help through activities like learning logs and guided reading. Also, teachers' tier assessments. And lastly, learning activities address a variety of learning styles and modalities such as visual, kinesthetic, and interpersonal.